In this video, I'm going to explain how we can re-invoice products from a purchase order into a sale order. To do this, we're going to use a combination of analytic accounts and expense products. So we all know that we can create or re-invoice expenses from the expense module, but today we're going to do it from the purchase module. So first thing I want to check to see if we have analytic accounts turned on. So I'm going to go into settings here and scroll down and make sure that we have analytic accounts turned on. So we'll just turn them on here. Now that we have that turned on, we're gonna go into inventory and look at a product that we just created called re-invoice product. And the main thing we wanna recognize here is that we have can be expensed here, and we're going to re-invoice the expense at the sale price. We can choose cost price if we want, but we're gonna do it at a markup. So we are going to buy this product for a dollar and sell it for $2. And if we look inside of our purchasing, we have this set to vendor one for $1. I'm gonna remove the vendor taxes for simplicity. Now we're going to go ahead and create a new sale order. We'll call this customer one. We want to add any product to the sale order. So I'll just add product A. In our other info tab, we want to make sure that we have an analytic account set. So we need an analytic account to do this. So I'll just create one here and I'll say this is going to be a test. Create and edit this, put in our default plan, and we're going to save and confirm. So now we have a sale order for customer one with an analytic account set as test dash customer one. This created a delivery because product A is a storable product that needs to be delivered to the customer. Now in purchasing, what we're going to do is create a new purchase order. And we'll just say this is for vendor one. And we're going to add that re-invoiced product that we see here. We're going to purchase it for $1 and we're going to show our analytic account on our order line. So now what we're gonna do is select test, which is the analytic account that's on the sale order. We'll save, confirm this order. We can receive the products. And finally, we'll create a bill for this. Let me set a bill date. And we'll confirm our bill. Now what we should see on our sale order is this product onto that sale order, which is tied with this analytic account. So now if we go back to our sale order and we go to customer one, we see that we have an extra line here for re-invoice product from purchase order number 12. We can set the quantity. And we see the delivery quantity, which is one. We're going to add the order quantity so that we can create an invoice for this. We see the unit price is $2. Now we've successfully re-invoiced our client for a product. This product name could have been anything and the description would have been pulled in from our purchase order. So purchase order number 12 with the product name. And again, this works due to the analytic account that is set on our sale order. And then on the purchase order, we also set that analytic account, which tells the system to automatically add that to the sale order because it is an expense product that is re-invoiceable. So again, if we wanna take one last look at that product, the re-invoice product, we see that it is a storable product. It can be any type of product, so we can have a consumable or a service, but we need to make sure that it can be expensed and the re-invoice expense is um, at sale price or at cost price. And then we'll use our cost and sale price from our product template.